help me God. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. So help me God. Y'all, that was incredible. <laughs> Thanks to Stephanie, uh, my wife, for making that uh, amazing intro for my new podcast, So Help Me Pod. Hey, everybody. My name is Rob Lee. I am a pastor, uh, public theologian, and scholar of the American presidency. Currently, I'm finishing my doctoral work at the Pacific School of Religion, which is located in Berkeley, California. That said, as with any good presidential scholar, past or present, I'm East Coast elitist living in North Carolina. In my life, I have had brushes with presidents. I've met President Carter, President Clinton, uh, President Obama, and President Biden, but my love of this subject goes far beyond the tall stature of those four towering individuals. I love every aspect of the subject of the American presidency. I can tell you that there have been two father-son duos and even more cousinships where, like, Franklin Roosevelt uh, was related uh, to 12 other presidents by blood or marriage. There have been seances in the White House during the Lincoln and Reagan administrations. I can tell you that Harry Truman's middle initial doesn't stand for anything and that William Howard Taft is the only president to have served as both president and a Supreme Court justice. A barrier I hope that Barack Obama one day will break unless the tan suit fiasco tanks his confirmation hearings. So what is this podcast about? Uh, what are all these corny jokes for and why are you even listening? I think it's actually really interesting. My dissertation is on the policy implications of the theologies of the American presidents. I believe and argue that these 46 men who have held the highest office in the land have been evangelists not only for their own piety, but for a national understanding of a public religion. This isn't to say that they didn't respect the separation of church and state as they were able, a bedrock of this uh, United States and our Constitution. Rather, uh, they used their own personal theological moorings, or lack thereof, to better view the world and enact their policy agenda. This is part of my final portfolio of work for my institution of higher learning and should be treated as such. Standard disclaimers apply. So this may all sound boring to you, but I promise it won't be. Uh, to ensure that I won't geek out too hard and spend too much time on this project and to keep me humble, my brother Scott is joining me on this podcast as a co-host. Scott is a graduate of the University of North Carolina School of the Arts with a graduate degree in operatic performance. He currently lives in Houston, Texas. So though he is well-educated, he is very much a layperson in both his knowledge of the presidency and sometimes theology. We'll be joined by experts uh, from everyone, from like people like Dr. Lacey Warner uh, and Father James Martin and others to better illumine these American luminaries. I hope you will join us on this journey. I think it's going to be really fun to talk about these men and their accomplishments, uh, their, their shortcomings, and their triumphs. Uh, never was a presidential term perfect, uh, but it was always and has always and probably will always be interesting. So I hope you'll join me on So Help Me Pod. You've been listening to So Help Me Pod a podcast of Beloved Journal in conjunction with Pacific School of Religion in Berkeley, California. The podcast is offered in partial completion of the Doctor of Ministry degree for the Reverend Robert W. Lee. All opinions and insights offered are solely owned by that of those who offered them and do not reflect the views of stakeholders in the project. There have been 45 men and 46 presidential administrations, all of them unique some of them have been more interesting than others, some of them more terrifying than others. All have been part of the grand expression of democracy on the North American continent and part of the wider conversation of self-governance in the world. These men have failed profoundly, and we have failed profoundly in following their leadership along with our own sometimes antiquated and backwards ways of viewing and acting in the world. That said, this form of leadership is unlike few other. And the greatest gift we have has been given in the ways in which the American experiment continues to prosper despite our terrible misgivings. We are better off because of these men. And we are forever in their debt.
For more information, visit www.robleethenumber4.com slash presidents.